quarterback update? Yeah, I figured I was going <laughs> to dive into that. So no, it's uh, uh, it's been a good week. You know, Will's gotten better every day. I think it's going to be. Uh, you know, obviously, if he can go and, and gets cleared and healthy, then obviously he'll go. But uh, it's it's been day to day, and we'll, we'll probably continue that way. And uh, Avery and Jake have both had a good week, and, and Avery would be the one to go, obviously, if, if Will's not able to. So. so, with Will, is it kind of one big body soreness, or what's the situation? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was soft tissue, which is positive, you know. But uh, and it's like I said, he's made good progress, but uh, day, day to day deal. Is there any fear to having to play a true freshman in this situation if it comes to that? Um, uh, you know, I, I think it's obviously not something I've, I've, necessarily, I've necessarily experienced. Um, but uh, uh, again, it, my confidence is, is in the preparation and, and how those, uh, how Avery's worked, and uh, you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't put him out there if he wasn't ready. And, and uh, uh, you know, obviously. It's not just about one guy, too. It's about everybody uh, stepping up and, and, and playing well uh, around whoever's back there to, to make it go. Uh, there was a coach here prior that had a young quarterback that started his first game, and they ran the ball 25 times with him. <laughs> and threw it I don't know who you're talking times. about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess my question is, Avery's built different than you. Can you yeah. take that kind of wear and tear? No, and and not not that we would, uh, you know, we would do that and 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 when and 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 if he gets in there, I mean, uh, last game we were using him in a, in, in a lot of run game stuff. I mean, that wasn't necessarily a, uh, the only things we thought he could do. We were trying to trying to use some some read and, and some quarterback run game, uh, and that's how it was it was helping us last week, but not necessarily indicative of where uh, we think his capacity is in the offense or uh, that way for sure. Did Missouri throw any exotic blitzes at you guys that you hadn't seen, or what was the preparation level for what they showed? Well, I mean, we knew it was going to be, uh, you know, a challenge, and, and there was uh, there was one or two that we had not seen. Uh, most of it we we had, um, and and credit to them. Obviously, uh, them doing it in in real life and in real speed is uh, not something we can simulate exactly the same, you know, and so. Uh, but you know, there, there's a, there's improvement to be made at uh, uh, you know at every level. That's a part of that. You know, uh, from the quarterback to the tailbacks, to the O line. It's not it's not just one. You know, we, we got to be able to handle that better and, and and be able to make make plays and, and make them pay for for doing that when they do. The delay game call. Did Will just kind of lose track of the clock, or what was the situation? Yeah, it seemed like you guys got to the line in plenty of time. Uh, we, the coach and I, were literally we're sitting there right there. You're in a tight game. Uh, didn't want to use the timeout. Where it was close enough that we thought, oh, we're going to get it, and he just lost track of a second, and obviously painful. How frustrating was it to see not just that, but so many red zone penalties against Missouri? <laughs> Because uh, you can't have it, you know. I mean, we, we were we were fortunate to overcome <laughs> uh, most of them. Um, obviously, couldn't couldn't overcome the one, and that's uh, you know, it's uh, discipline, fundamentals, consistency. I mean, all, all those things are, are paramount at that time. And sometimes it's those little things that uh, you know that bite you in the rear, and and because you know you can't you can't bank on overcoming. Uh, those like like we were able to uh, for the most part last week and obviously didn't on the one so we got to takes great great focus intentionality and, and uh, got to lock in and finish drives cleanly what's an element of the offensive line play that you're honing in on that you'd like to see improve and does the return of Duffy help that uh, I mean I, I think it I think it definitely will help I think <clears throat> um, you know, I, I can't put my finger on just just one one aspect of it. I mean, there's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the old line in particular. I mean, it's a it's it's a complicated deal. I mean, there's footwork involved, hand placement, eyes. I mean, just even when you got guys moving and twisting all over the place, just where you're putting your hands, where you're putting your eyes, and uh, you know, so it's. Uh, all, all of those things that uh, they all of them do a, a great job on. It's just a matter of doing it when, on that one time that you need it, you know, and, and all of us stepping up to, uh, to make sure we we just improve on it. So, you expecting Trayshawn to be out there on Saturday? Day to day still, but uh, uh, you know he needs to come along a little bit. Would, would Anthony be next in line to play if you had to? 
go to another running back. Yeah, uh, Anthony and and uh, uh, Le James White will, will will probably be the, in that in that mix. Mm -hmm. well, the last two opponents have kind of pressured that line of scrimmage, and on film it looks like UCF mm -hmm. would do the same thing. Is yeah. this something you're going to see until you solve it? Oh, I, I think so. Uh, I think so, and and uh, you know it's. Uh, uh, I think there, I think there will be some opportunities with it, and, and uh, something that I think we'll, we'll continue to grow through and uh, and improve at. So it'll, yeah, I think it'll be a good challenge. I really do. Have you had to use the design QB runs a little bit more than you were hoping for so far? Uh, <clears throat> you know, maybe a little bit. Some of it, I think, is uh, uh, mainly focused in the red zone. You know, Will's done a really good job of. Uh, controlling some edges uh, on some things and, and giving us an extra hat and uh, you know it's it's in particular down there it just gets a lot harder I mean there's condensed space and uh, tough angles so it's uh, I think it's been good for us I mean uh, again you kind of just got to do what you have to do so I think it's something we'll we'll continue to massage a little bit how much does the limitations of Keegan Johnson thus far affect your guys vertical passing game uh, I mean, it, it does. I mean, he's he, he's dynamic and and has uh, uh, you know. But at the same time, I mean, uh, we, we've had guys step up too. I mean, Jaden's made some big plays down the field. Phil's made big plays down the field. R.J. has. So, uh, you know, I think we've got a. Uh, it all fits together. You know, we do need to uh, uh, continue to be aggressive and, and push the ball down the field more. Um, but uh, you know, it's. Uh, 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 whoever's out there, I know we'll, we'll be able to do that. Are there restrictions on Keegan Johnson from a health standpoint? Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty much day to day, and, and he's I mean he's uh, working with our training staff, so uh, you know I, I don't it's uh, day to day as well.